Hello, so welcome to another session of 3G optimization. So, in today's session, we will study here about the TEMS investigation tool, which is used here for the verification, troubleshooting, and optimization of your wireless networks. So, basically, we have started about the drive test procedure. So, that is basically used to read and control the various information which is sent over the air that means how we can capture the various radio parameters and then optimize the network on the basis of the various parameters which have been captured here so this temp investigation test mobile system is a tool which is used for this optimization process here so we will study here about the wcdma optimization the various parameters of wcdma systems what are their values and how they're affecting the system and how that things can be changed here for the proper functioning of your wireless network here. So this tool basically enables to monitor a variety of services, your voice services, data services, etc. So uh, for your like your drive test, you should have various equipments like your handset, which is your like TEMS enabled, then your data cable, TEMS investigation tool installed on your system, then your GPS device here. So this space here is referred as your workspace. So this workspace basically stores all windows and the settings used in a working session. That means if this is my current working sessions, all of the windows which I will be opening, that will be stored, stored in this particular workspace here. So at present, only one workspace can be opened at a time, but it can be divided into work, uh, worksheets here. So it is uh, storing here all the windows for a particular session here. Then, like this is the complete uh, user interface for a TEMS investigation tool. Now we have this the menu bar, then the toolbar, and this is your workspace here. So, this menu bar here contains a number of options like your file, view, log file. That means we are analyzing here the information on the basis of the various log files and then this control window the presentation window now in this presentation window we have a number of supports that means number of services which are supported here by TEMS investigation tool that means these are the various networks which it can monitor like your CDMA, GSM, LT, TD, SCDMA, WCDMA, Wi-Fi, WiMAX signaling positioning which is related to your map and then the various templates here. Now we are here concerned with the WCDMA system. So if you just click on the WCDMA, it will display all the parameters here like for your data services, scanning, your GSM neighbors, handover, the radio parameters. So we are going to study about all these parameters here in these optimization sessions here. Now after that like you have this toolbar. So this toolbar basically here consists the shortcuts to certain functions in applications which are related here to your log file recording and your analysis. Then at this end I have this bar which is our status bar. So this basically indicates the current status of your application. Now this toolbar here is consisting a number of applications like this is for playing your uh, log file, start recording, stopping the log file and these the number of shortcut tools here. Now on the left side of this workspace we can see a window which is basically your navigator window here. So this basically shows you here about the equipment. So this is basically an equipment tab here, which is used for the equipment handling. Like your equipment, if it is connected like present, we haven't connected any equipment here. After that, you have this the menu tab, which shows the types of windows here. Then we have the info element tab, which shows about all the information 
elements which are here handled by your temps investigation tool now at present we have not connected here any device now let's go towards this presentation window now we are here concerned with the wcdma parameters so if i click here on wcdma so now uh, i have this uh, workspace currently not containing any of the windows now how i can uh, configure my workspace so in order to configure my workspace first of all i'll go to this presentation window and then i'll click here on wcdma so where i will have a list of our wcdma parameters now first of all if i click here on the radio parameters so this is the list of the wcdma radio parameters so this is basically a uh, like in disconnected state we haven't connected any equipment here so this is just showing you the number of wcdma radio parameters after that if you again go to there you can click here on like this window so this window is wcdm is serving active set plus neighbor so this will here show you the various uh, like type cell name the scrambling code cell id the uarfcn the cpic the various parameters which we are going to study here like this now if i'll connect an equipment here that means a phone here so it is here initializing the device which is like your samsung g9001 so this is the device which we are using here so now this device is deactivated here it's not activated and it is showing here the detection process so now if you will just simply click over here it will show here like the identity the imsi number of this phone and the various technologies which are supported here now if you will activate. click here on activate so it will activate the device here now when we have activated the device here we can see here the number of parameters and the various values which are associated with it now first of all we have here the wcdma radio parameters so first of all you can see here that we have here written mode so this basically specifies here this mode here specifies the mode of the system now you are here using the 3g services your wcdma services so it is displaying here the uh, mode of the system as wcdma now next parameter here is tx power that is your transmission power or we can say that the ue transmitted power so this is the maximum transmitted uplink transmission power that means this is the maximum transmission power of an ue equipment of this mobile when it gains access to a specific cell that means it has gained access to a cell and now it is transmitting so the power which will be associated with this device that will be your transmission power here after that you have next the ut ra carrier ssi so this is your universal terrestrial radio access carrier radio uh, rssi here corresponds to your received signal strength indicator so this parameter your carrier rssi value this is the measurement of power which is present in the radio signal now here you can see that the tx power is being it is changing with your time after that this radio uh, this received signal strength indicator this is basically the measurement of power which is present in the radio signal so this is 
measured here in dbm so this is usually invisible uh, to the user of a receiving de device but this basically tells you about the amount of strength which is present in the signal here after that we have the next value which is your target sir now this sir value here is the signal to interference ratio so this is the ratio between the average received carrier and the average received channel interface interference so this is the ratio here of the received signal and the interference so this value here ranges from like your minus 11 db this is your target sir and this is your sir that means this is the value which is targeted and this will uh, correspond here to the maximum range here now next parameter here is like your SQI MOS. Now this SQI here is the speech quality index. So MOS corresponds to mean opinion square here. So this parameter, this speech quality index basically indicates the voice quality. So this stems product basically offers this SQI for estimating the downlink speech quality that we are the user is receiving from the node B. So this is basically used to estimate the quality of speech in your downlink. And this MOS, as I mentioned, this is your mean opinion square. So this MOS here is the arithmetic mean of the individual score, which basically ranges from 1 to 5. So that basically all it is an uh, quality indicator for your speech. Next here is the RRC state so this basically this rrc which is your radio resource control connection this basically here tells the state for your device that whether it is a dedicated physical connection or whether it is a like this is uh, showing here cell pch so that means neither ul or dl dedicated physical channel is uh, allocated here but it is receiving this PCH by your paging indicator channels. So this is basically used to indicate the various states here like connected state, your PCH or your monitoring state of the device. So these are here your WCDMA radio parameters. Which corresponds here the mode of the system, the transmission, the, the maximum transmitted power, the received signal strength indicator, then your signal to interference ratio, then your speech quality index and then RRC state here. Now we have another window also here which is basically your WCDMS serving cell or active so that means it will here display you the list of the serving cells or the neighboring cells here for which device eq1 now we have connected here only one equipment so it will show here these values for these equipments here so this is like displaying here this mobile scrambling code here like this uh, wcdma is a coding based technology so this is here displaying the current this is your current scrambling code that means and this is the current cell id to which our device is latched so it is here displaying the current scrambling code the cell id the downlink uarfcn which is your universal absolute radio frequency channel number then after that it is here displaying you the other parameters like your cpi ch here so this is basically the CPICH EC by naught is basically energy per chip over the noise. So this parameter here is also basically a measure of the quality of a signal. We can uh, say that this parameter also tells us about the quality of the signal. So this measurement is basically used for monitoring the cells. Monitoring the cells. For what for your cell reselection 
or for your handover procedure so that we can latch to another uh, appropriate cell there. So this is the value here for your current cell. Now after that we have this RSCP. This is basically the CPICH is a common pilot channel of your cell which is displaying these EC by N naught values which is your energy per chip over the noise and this pilot channel here now giving you the values of this RSCP which is your received signal code power. So in this uh, WCDMA system this RSCP which is your received signal code power that basically denotes the power measured by a receiver on a particular physical communication channel that means in the down link we are just measuring the power of a received physical channel here like this. So this is used as an indication of a signal strength for what for your handover criteria also and for your downlink power control. So according to this value if this value is degrading or this value is good the handover decisions or your power control decisions are made here. So in this WCDMA a physical channel as we know that corresponds to a code. So this basically the received signal code power indicates the power associated with that channel here. So the value here it ranges to minus 120 dBm for this parameter here. Now this is here for like your downlink type and for your HSUL type here. So this second window which is your WCDM is serving an active cell is just indicating here about your current cell and your neighboring cells here. RRC connection abnormal release. Now, so here in this class, we just the have X studied X about the interface of your TEMS investigation tool. And we just have started about the WCDMA radio parameters and the serving actor or your neighbor cell parameters. Now in the upcoming session, we will study here more about the WCDMA parameters. So this is all here for today's class. Thank you so much.